Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 47. Today we're going to continue working on our uh, calendar feeds plugin uh, for WordPress. And what we're actually going to do today is not get every post. As you can see right now from a zoomed out view of my calendar, today is the 28th, and I'm getting posts up to the 20th, and I'm actually getting a post back from May 1st. That's because I'm getting all the posts in my current database. I'd be getting posts from January 1st if I had created any demo posts that were that old. So what we want to do is we're going to get posts, um, all the posts in the future still, and we're going to get only posts that are six weeks older than today. Before we get to that, a really good post for you to read about how we're going to filter uh, MySQL in WordPress is by Scotty T. This will be linked in the show notes, and it's called Understanding MySQL in WordPress. So you can see here I've got a bunch of posts set up. This one's one month ahead. I got a bunch of standard Hello World posts and the other scheduled posts we've been working with. One that's one month old and one that's more than a month old. What we want is to drop this one that's more than a month old. What we need to do is filter by date. Now you can get with WB Query, you can do some stuff with date, but you can't actually say, I only want posts that are, say, 18 months or six weeks older than today. To do that, we need to start playing with some filters. So what I'd like you to do is to go into our uh, plugin. We're going to go to the Generate Feed function. And the first thing we're going to do is add our filters on either side of, of our WP Query call. And we're using the posts where filter. And out of that, we're going to call the two months function. And two months, uh, we're going to define right now as well. So here's our two month function. What it does is the posts where sends the where variable. And that's allowing us to filter, uh, in this case, our date and time. Or posts where post date equals or is greater than, we're using the date, and then string to time. And string to time. Uh, converts any string to time. So we could say minus six weeks, plus six weeks, plus 12 days, five years, or minus five years. And it's going to convert that to a Unix timestamp, which is what we want. And then we simply return where. You'll also notice that I created a how old variable and used apply filters. And that takes two parameters. So this first one here is the filter. And the second one here is the default value. So this allows another plugin author or another theme offer to add filter WP TT ICS feeds how old and pass a new variable in there and they could change how old we're looking for so they could make it five weeks or two weeks. And that way they don't actually have to uh, hack my plugin and wreck it, meaning I can't update. Um, they can just use this one filter and change how old. Now once we've done that, you can see we applied the filter. And then we actually have to remove it. This would be a blanket filter if we didn't remove it. This would work for any other query inside WordPress, and that's not what we want. We only want to do it for our query. So let's go back to our calendar and refresh. So you'll notice I actually stopped and I'm back now, and now my one doesn't show up. The reason for that is that the Mac, and we'll prove this, there's nothing wrong with our code in this case, but iCal, so now we've removed our filter, we're not running it. it. Doesn't refresh our year view. So you can see May still doesn't show the one. If you double click, it's there. Now it'll show up if we take our filter and add it back. See, we've updated and one is still there, but it's not. So everything was working fine. That was a uh, something I wasn't aware of in iCal. It doesn't refresh the year view nicely, or at least not nicely enough for the screencast. So that's it today. We have added a date filter um, so that we're only getting post a certain date older than today. In our case, it's six weeks. I've done this a few times um, when we were looking for recent relevant news posts. So we were linking it in this case with golf courses. But if it was like a two-year-old post, we didn't want it. So we linked, uh, we used this exact same code to do 18 months old. If it was 18 months old, it counted. If it was longer than 18 months, we just didn't want it. And that's how you get date ranges uh, inside WordPress. Thanks for watching.